Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ITL. Well, this week I kind of figured, you know what? I've got a couple questions about the, uh, basically me reconditioning uh, the, the, the plastics on the front plastic fender on the go. And uh, I figured I'd give you a chance to show a new toy, a new to me toy. Yeah, it's just, it's just a heat gun. Uh, this is actually not a really great one. I think this, I can't remember even the wattage on this. But it is a cheap uh, Capri, C A P R I. I bought it off of online on, I believe it was Amazon. Came with a few different the nozzles for it. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be much for my garage. It doesn't have to be an expensive one for my garage because, I mean, I don't do a whole lot of work with the heat gun. But I figure go ahead and show you and kind of explain to you while I am showing you on the uh, front fender of the goat here and how, how this works. And uh, there is one step missing that I cannot came up with. I don't have, I'll probably have to go out and get some more. It's the, I use the Armor All uh, UV protectant for it. I just, just wipe it on. So, but hopefully you can get the just hopefully the camera will be able to see the difference i mean it, sometimes the camera just doesn't pick up what the eye sees so let's go ahead and switch on over to the uh to the goat hello everybody we're back at the we're over at the fender you should wipe it down i got it pretty well cleaned down but you kind of see where i've stuck i did a little bit earlier on the side here here you can see the color differences and a lot of this is just from sun, uh, the sun bleaching it out. And all, all you really want to do is to heat up the very top layer. And this is a problem you can ask Navy Thomas or actually anybody that has this type of plastic vendors. It happens. But I have figured, found out that all you got to do is a little bit of research. All you got to do is uh, heat the, remelt the very top layer. Of the plastic I mean it doesn't get it perfect but it gets it a heck of a lot better and hopefully since I'm where I got my uh, microphone on that I can actually you can actually hear me talk while this is heating up but let's try it out all you got you, know, you can start anywhere let's get the heat going you can start anywhere on it just work around if you got a really hot heat gun you don't want it really too close In fact, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. But you'll see the differences right away. Like I said, I don't have uh, UV protectant. Here we go. We'll turn it up. Which makes a big, big difference. I put the UV, UV protectant on right afterwards. You have to watch, like I said, how close you get to it. With you got a high, a higher wattage heat gun. Then you you should wipe it right down with the uh, UV protect, and that'll take care of it for a little while. you see there is a difference it's not perfect it doesn't have to be long it's better than it was And it doesn't take long to do once you get it heated up.
And the reason why you can do this is because the color is all the way through the plastic. So I gotta do is reheat the very top layer. Remelt it down. Now it's gonna dull out on me because I don't have the protect uh, the UV protectant I put on it, but I'll just go back over and redo it a little later with it. Just a simple little tip. There. Hope you can tell the difference. Put the heat gun somewhere. Right I hope now. you got to get, get an idea how I I repair the front fender on it. I mean, it's just a tip that maybe some of you that didn't know how to, about this that give you an idea. I mean, you don't have to buy new plastics all the time. Just remelt it. The very top coat. I mean, you don't want to hit too much heat where you're warping or melting too much. Just melt the top layer, and I throw a, like a UV protectant on it, like from Armor All. And uh, if I had it here, I would, I would, I would do it right now. And it doesn't come out perfectly shiny, like you, like brand spanking new. But you know what? It's a lot better than going down the road with like pink plastics or very light powder blue plastics. It's a it's a way to the way to make things a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed this ITL because we're in the garage because it's raining so much. And the reason I'm doing this with a microphone and everything, it's just so rainy outside. Sometimes you just wouldn't be able to hear me. But this is Buzzabike. Hoping you all have a great week. Signing out.